Hey everyone, I just wanted to talk a little bit about um, this political cartoon assignment from last week. Political cartoons or analyzing political cartoons can be a difficult task. Um, oftentimes an artist will try to talk about a very heavy or important issue or current event and they do it in one pane, right? They do it in just in one frame. They have a picture and some words. Um, so a lot of times they focus on, um, you know, they use symbolism. And um, so analyzing political cartoons can be difficult. There's a lot of um, higher level thinking that goes on to into doing that. Um, you guys did a good job on this assignment. Um, I, I do think, though, that uh, many of you missed uh, the mark, uh, but it's our first political cartoon analysis uh, of the semester, and uh, it takes practice, and, and it takes, you have to have background knowledge, and um, so all in all, everyone did well, and I think most everybody, you know, got three or four points on the assignment. Okay, so let's take a look at this one. Um, before, actually, before we look at it, the last question on the assignment is, what is the artist's opinion? And I don't mean to chuckle, but many of you, or some of you wrote, I don't know what the artist's opinion is. In fact, I looked online and uh, I, I can't find it anywhere. You know, I looked on the artist's webpage, couldn't find it. Um, when I'm asking you the artist's opinion, I'm asking you uh, to tell me what you think the artist's opinion is. I guess I could have been more specific with my question. Uh, for instance, if someone has a political cartoon that uh, looks at the president and um, is maybe saying the president is doing a good job in the cartoon, then you could come to the conclusion that the artist's opinion is that uh, President Trump is a, is a decent president, okay? And um, that would be determining the artist's opinion. Sorry, my, that's gross. My nose really itches this morning. All right, so, so this, this one in particular, this political cartoon in, in particular is looking at two issues. It's looking at underage vaping or school-aged children vaping and gun violence in schools. Um, we know that President Trump has talked about potentially uh, banning flavored e-cigs and flavored e-juice uh, because there have been deaths. Uh, there have, uh, as of yesterday, there have been 24 deaths in the United States, uh, like something like 1,080 uh, vape-related illnesses and 24 deaths. The youngest person to die from a vape-related illness uh, is a 17-year-old in the Bronx, and that just happened like within the last couple of days. So it, it's pretty tragic. Um, it, it seems like Every day in the news cycle, you're you're reading about another another death, um, and so the president is saying that it's a problem. Vaping is dangerous. Uh, people are dying. Many of them are young adults and children, um, and so he wants to think about maybe an executive order that would ban the sale of flavored e-cigs and flavored e-juice and vape cartridges in the United States. Um, okay. The second issue, gun violence. So here we have this kid who says, you know, standing outside of a middle school and he says, I'm so nervous about guns at school that I'm vaping three cartridges a day. All right, so mass shootings and gun violence in the United States. Um, through September, there has not been a single month in 2019 where there have been 20 or fewer mass shootings. So every month of this year, 
so far, there have been at least 21 mass shootings a month. Um, there's been something like 300 and 200, 285 deaths, 385 deaths. And um, over 1,300 people wounded. Um, so I, I think the artist's opinion is that is that he is critical. I should say he or she. I'm not sure uh, if the artist Margulies, that's the last name. I don't know if they are female or male artist. Um, the artist's opinion, I believe, is that uh, yeah, this this vaping is is an epidemic, and uh, the president's kind of potentially put focus on it. Uh, because kids are dying and people are dying, but what about guns? What about guns in the hands of people who want to hurt others or guns in the hands of people who uh, have poor mental health? That's dangerous too, but nobody's focusing on that. At least not the president and the Congress. But the president's talking about flavored e-cigarettes Guns, dangerous as well. Um, there have been school school shootings get the most get the most media uh, because schools are a place where you know we need to make sure that our our young children and young adults are safe. Um, most shootings do not happen at schools, though. You know of the. Um, all the, the mass shootings that we've had this year, eight have happened at a school. Uh, two have happened at places of worship. Um, of course, that's eight too many and two too many. But most mass shootings happen in, in uh, businesses and in government buildings other than schools because schools are government buildings. But anyways, hey, and I also wanted to point out, I was impressed. Some of you, I, I posed the question, school uh, shootings are guns, guns and vape. Can we think of them as being the same thing, right? Both are dangerous. And some of you said, uh, no, you can't because the right to own guns is protected by the Constitution and the Second Amendment. And the Constitution says nothing about vaping. So we can't consider them. We can't look at them together the same. Pretty impressed by that. Good job. Everyone did a great job. Mostly everybody got three or four points on this. Um, like I said, not always the easiest thing, uh, but you guys did a good job and I will talk to you soon. Text me, email me. Uh, remember I'm at East High School every Tuesday from 3.30 to 5 in room 2076 and I'm in Denfeld every Wednesday from 3.30 to 5 in room 2001. And I will talk to you soon. Take care.